Good morning, great student. How are you doing? Welcome to another English class. Let's, let's start with the core value of our school, which is loyalty. This is the month of January, and the core value is loyalty. And you say loyalty means staying true to a friend no matter the challenge. So you need to stay true and be there for your friend no matter the situation. We are going to look at the topic for discussion today. We'll be concentrating on grammar and the usage. So we want to know how to use grammar. But our major focus will be on the past tense. Okay? We'll have to find out how to use the past tense in sentences. So we are going to look up from our language book, page 66, and then our practice book, page 50. This is the objectives for today's lesson. What do we want you to learn in the course of today's lesson? We want you to be able to use the past tense to tell about things that happened in the past and form questions using the past tense. Okay, so we're going to be learning that together. Here, this is a little illustration that tells us about the present, the past, and the future. We'll say every sentence has a tense. Look at the arrow indicating that what is this tense all about? Whether it's present, past, or future. Now let's look at the past tense, the present sentence that is made here. I go to school daily. This is present. Every day. You do it every day. I go to school daily. The past. I went to school yesterday. Concluded. It's already completed. That happened yesterday. Present happening now. Okay? Future. I will go to school tomorrow. Okay? So that is the future. Tomorrow I will go to school. Now explain this tense a little bit to say this tense in grammar is a form taken by a verb to indicate or to tell the time or completeness. Completeness of an action. Okay, so this is what it all represents. It indicates that this is ongoing, that this finished past, that this future will be tomorrow. I will future. It is stay in view. Is that clear? Let's dive in to the next slide. And this is all about our class activity. Here we're talking about yesterday, like I explained in the previous slide. Yesterday we were at the tower. Today, so what are they doing today? Present. Today is present. Today we are at home. Like you are at home. And those in school are in school today. I was a bit scared. Who was a bit scared? You remember the story about the tower house? So this is Sam. Uh, Sam. He was a bit scared when he went into the tower house. So today I am okay. Yesterday the weather was sunny. Okay? Today it is wet because uh, there's showers of rain. Is that understood? Now, do you remember the children's trip to the city tower? Or like I told you, do you remember the tower story? About Sam going to the tower, how scared he was, going into the leaves and all that. So let's see the next slide. Let's take a look at this. He said the tower was small. I was just going to do one for you and I want you to do the remaining. The tower was small and the story was the tower small? No. So this is false. Okay? The tower was never small. So look at this one. Aunt Mary and friend we were at the tower. The leaves were slow. Sam was scared. Was Sam scared? If you were paying attention in this very lesson, I told you how scared Sam was. Okay? But he said today I am better or today I am okay. So, from the story you read, I want you to answer this question, okay? So, we'll go to the next one where I will be able to explain later. Now, it's all about grammar, okay? We're talking about grammar usage. Now, we're going to be filling in this blank to know the correct words to use there. We we'll have here, yesterday, the children dashed at the city tower. What were they? What is the correct answer here? It is where. 
Yesterday, the children were at the city tower. The tower dashed very high. The tower was very high. The leaves dashed very fast. The leaves was very fast. Here, Tilly said, you dashed scared, Sammy. Tilly said, you were, you were scared, Sammy. Sam said, yes, I was. Yes, I was a bit scared. Freddie said, you and Tilly dashed at the top. You and Tilly were at the top. And Meg and I dash at the bottom. The correct one is where? At the bottom. Okay, the explanation so far. So far. Okay. We move to the next slide. Here we're going to be doing the writing. Okay. I will write in probably three and let you do the last one. Okay. So here they say. Answer the questions. A mirror on, on points in Alexandria, the first lighthouse tall. So look at this very one. Where was the great pharaoh's lighthouse? So we continue. Remember, in building a sentence, you start with a capital letter, right? So, and then you end with a, a full stop. So we start here, we say the. Thus, the will bring it here. Then we we'll continue. The great Pharaoh's light house. Okay, so you have to know the words to use now. So, are we going to use where or words? So, we say the great Pharaoh's light house was in a Dry. Okay, then you end in a full stop period. Okay, so we go to number two to answer the question. Okay, was the light house tall or short? We'll continue like this the light house was tall. Full stop. Now I'm going to take the tall one. So all I'm doing basically for you to know how we are arranging the sentences or how we are rearranging because he's already giving us here. So we're just putting them in the right tenses. Okay? Here was there. What was at? What was there at the top? So we start with what? We start with capital later. Okay? We start with capital later and then we'll end with a full stop. Okay? There was a mirror at the top. Okay? So this is how it is. I've got three for you. I want you to do the remaining two and then pass it on to your teacher so that she can check and then do the necessary correction if there is any. I hope you understand. If you don't understand, feel free to comment on the comment section on your class module so that we can provide the solutions there. Thank you for being part of today's lesson. I will see you in our next class. Bye.